Okay, welcome to part two of how to create light rays within Adobe After Effects. I'll give you a look at what we're going to be creating today. All right, let's get started. Let's go to my original clip of this bedroom window. I'll just drag that over here and create a new composition. Okay, I'm just going to shorten this a little bit. Move that, let's say, let's say make it about a five second comp. And I'll trim the comp. Okay, let's start by tracking this footage. I'm going to do a 3D camera track because you'll notice that there's a, a lot of motion within this where the camera is moving in towards the window. So what I'm going to do is just click my track camera button and let it do its thing. Okay, we're finished the camera track now. Let's just take a look how it turned out. Pretty good. All right, let's just look for something near this window. I'm just going to scroll through this and see if I can find, see this little red target. I want to find something that's on the right plane. That's pretty good. Let me see if there's anything else here. Uh, oh, that's, that's pretty good, right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, I'm on a Mac, by the way, so I'm going to hold down Control, and I have some options come out. I'm going to create solid and camera. So there's my solid. Let's just see how that sits. That's pretty good. Now you might notice the orientation is a little bit funky there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that orientation a little bit. And I'll go into transform. Actually, first thing, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump up the size here so I can get a better idea on how it sits together with that window, make sure it's on the same plane. All right, let's adjust that orientation. Maybe something like this. Okay, that's looking, that's looking not too bad. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump up the size of this. So I'm just gonna hit S for scale. I'm gonna bump that right up so that it covers the whole frame and that's so I don't lose I don't get my light rays getting cut off on the edge there. Alright let's hit T for opacity and reduce the opacity here so I can see the windows. Now I'm going to mask around I'm going to start by masking around this this window. So I'm going to go up to my pen tool and just create my my window. Boom. There we go, nice blue window. And by the way, let's get rid of the blue window. I'm going to go up to layer solid settings. Just going to change that to a white window. There we go. All right, let's boost the opacity back up. Let's check this, make sure it looks good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but you can always animate that mask a little bit if you wanted to touch up some details. All right, now we're going to use the secret weapon, which is Radio Fast Blur. So I'm just going to drag that on top of my window. And we'll bump up the amount all the way. And we'll set that to brightest. Now I'm going to change the center here. I'm going to click on that and put the center back here. Uh, let's move it maybe back a little more. That will give you, you can adjust the angle here. Uh, this will give you a narrower beam if you have that center point way back and further up. So you'll notice that little, little red thingy will give you a much wider beam. So set that right about there. Now if that's a little strong, you can reduce the opacity of your original mask there, like that. So that way you can still see some of the some of the outdoor action. It looks a little bit more real. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a bit of a tint on this over the whole thing. Actually, let's start by new adjustment layer. So we're gonna adjust the the color of the entire composition. 
and we'll add a tint on top. And let's make this sort of a golden sort of color. Click OK and change the amount so it's not quite so extreme. Let's say it may be around 70. Now I'm going to use something that isn't within Adobe After Effects, but it is a free plugin from Video Copilot, and it's called Vibrance. And it gives you some nice color, multicolor textures within your, uh, uh, your color correction. So we're just going to grab that and throw that onto the adjustment layer. It's green right now, but let's change that to more of a gold color. And there you go. You, you notice the nice different shades of the yellow, gold, and almost a green color there. Let's take a look how that, how that looks. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's have it turn on. So we have our regular window, and then boom, on goes the light. All right, now we've only done the one window. If we wanted to do two windows, which we which we would, I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm going to drag that over to the second window. We have to adjust the the mask a little bit. I won't work with this right now because I want to keep this tutorial short. But this is the basic idea of doing two windows. Boom. So there you have it. That's all for today. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.